traditional dry cleaning is typically toxic for the earth and your clothes. But a new company in the Bay Area is trying to change that. KPIX 5's Betty Yu has the story. Dry cleaning can be a dirty business. But an eco friendly laundry startup is trying to clean it up. I was a dry cleaning customer. And one of the things that always happened to me was I'd get my clothes back and they smelled like chemicals. They were on all these tangled metal hangers that would get jammed up in my closet and I have to throw it away. It's why CEO Dan Miller left a career in consulting to reimagine the dry cleaning experience. He's now expanding Mulberry's garment care from his home state of Minnesota to the Bay Area with 10 storefronts across San Francisco and the peninsula, an on demand app to pick up and drop off clothes, and a fleet of drivers and vans. Most people, when they think of dry cleaning, because it said it to be dry, they think, are you throwing powder on it or something? But really, what it is, is it's just cleaning in any chemical other than water. So I could dip your clothes in gasoline and call it dry cleaning. And so when I found that out as a customer, I thought, wait a minute, this isn't good for anybody. Mulberries uses biodegradable organic dry cleaning solvents and plant based laundry detergents that are free of chemicals, dyes, and perfumes. Customers can feel the difference. The chemicals are less abrasive on the clothes, so I find that, uh, that my, sh my shirts are being, there's less wear and tear on the shirts or on the collar and around the buttons. Americans spend $10 billion a year on laundry services. Each year, people throw away 300 million pounds of dry cleaning bags and 3.5 billion wire hangers. That's more than 300,000 pounds of steel. Mulberries uses biodegradable plastic bags or none at all if the customer wishes. And get your clothes back clean and pressed beautifully, but with no plastic bag on them. And reusable metal and sustainable wood hangers. From an environmental standpoint, the dry cleaning industry is rather toxic. Environmental expert and SF State professor Connie Ulasiewicz says if you have a stain many times you can get rid of it without the dry cleaner but if you have to go. I would ask the dry cleaner the question about the chemicals they're using about if they will take the hangers back and as a conscious consumer I'll make sure that I don't throw those bags out into the trash. Uh, thank you. So I think everything we can do as both a company ourselves but in the industry as a whole we should do. In San Francisco, Betty Yu, KPIX 5.